When, when I first started Dearly Departed Tours in 2004, uh, there were three non-negotiable locations for me. It was going to be both of the, uh, the, uh, the Tate LaBianca locations and the Ambassador Hotel. Now, I, the Ambassador Hotel has been, has been empty, or closed, I should say, for as long as I've lived here in Los Angeles. So, um, I don't have any real memory, memories of being in the hotel uh, when it was uh, a hotel. I was only, but I did, fortunately, got the opportunity to go in once. There is a, uh, a friend of mine in uh, Sierra Madre who knows my interests and she clued me in on a group of crime journalists that were, that were doing a tour, a one-off tour around Los Angeles, a large 50-seat bus. They were giving us lunch and taking us to you know, the Tate location, to the Bugsy Siegel location, all the locations that are already on my tour, as was at that point the Ambassador Hotel because it still existed. So, uh, but it was going to be the last group of people allowed in the hotel before its, before its demolition. So, uh, we were very fortunate to get in on that and, uh, and walk through the hotel, walk through the pantry, walk through the coconut grove. And as far as I know, we were the last, you know, group that went in there. I'm sure a lot of people got in on the slide because they knew people, but, uh, but uh, it was a real honor. It was a real thrill to be there, to actually be in those locations. And how was the state of the hotel at the time that you visited it? What little we saw of the hotel was in pretty good shape. I recognized a lot of it from movies. I had, uh, and not that long uh, after I moved here the first time, was in That Thing You Do came out, the Tom Hanks movie, and, and they made it look great. They had the coffee shop, they had the hallway set up, they had the entrance all set up, and it looked really, really good. So uh, I don't know how deteriorated it was originally, uh, or not originally, but you know, after, after the decades of it sitting there rotting away. But what we saw, aside from, you know, in the kitchen, there was, there was in certain corridors, there was a lot of paint flaking away and, and things like that. But I think most of the locations that we saw have been used in films a lot, so it looked pretty good. The pantry, you know, they didn't use it in any movies, but uh, so it was kind of dark and not so nice. But, and, and also uh, the ballroom. The embassy ballroom? The embassy, yeah. The embassy was in pretty bad shape. It was, you know, a lot of pieces of ceiling, uh, you know, hit the floor and uh, it wasn't, the, fres the frescoes were still up at that point, but the carpet was all, uh, was all moldy and it wasn't looking terrific, but it wouldn't have taken very long for it to be uh, neatened up. Yeah.